to this Final Fantasy VII uh, modded version of the game, the New Threat mod. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. A few people have been asking when I'm going to be continuing on with this series. And I have been wanting to do so, but because of the uh, Final Fantasy IX walkthrough that I'm currently undertaking, I decided to hold off a little bit on this uh, game in order to get a lot of that done. But what I'm going to try and do, at least for the time being, is uh, play this over live stream. And uh, I'm not sure how many viewers that'll muster, but that, that doesn't really matter because it's up on YouTube then for you guys to watch afterwards as well. So we'll see how we get on, but last time we played this, if you remember, we uh, killed the revamped apps boss. I can't remember what that fella was called on the uh, mod, but uh, it was a, a new improved version of the boss. And it was a little bit more difficult than we've become accustomed to in Final Fantasy VII. But now we're going to head straight out of the sewer and see what other disasters await us in this modded version of the game. And there's a materia here we can pick up, which is the steel materia. I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure there was a materia there. Maybe there wasn't. I can't remember. It's been a few years now. 20, uh, 2012 when I did my uh, Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. And uh, I'm really pleased that that's one of the most popular Final Fantasy VII Let's Plays on YouTube. But also, uh, that is actually the last time I played the game. So I'm not remembering everything uh, as I thought I would be. But we'll uh, go ahead, obviously, because I'm doing this as a live stream. We're not going to be able to really look at, um, uh, at skipping things out. But straight away, we can see there's a bit of a challenge going on here. And it's been a few days since I've uh, even played this modded version of the game. So we'll go ahead and start... Uh, protecting our characters, you can't just go blindly into battle as you once could. As you can see, we're pretty much getting uh, obliterated here, so we need to start queuing people up a little bit, I'd say. So, in this modded version of the game, even standard monsters are very, very painful. And what's even more painful, it's a good job that missed actually, is the fact that uh, we've got no potions. That will be our final potion. So we'll cast M Barrier as well. We are getting through the battle though. Yeah, I'll tell you what, potions are really coveted in this game. They really are. We need to start... Uh, using the steel command a lot more. And just for future use, I'm, or future reference, I'm going to check how uh, much health these guys have so that we can plan the battles better as we go through. 288 and they're weak to lightning. So you will be using the sense material a lot more in this game. Oh, hi, hi Mary. Uh, I'm glad that you... Uh, pleased that we're doing this game. I actually love Final Fantasy 7, so discovering this mod was a great excuse to get back to uh, doing another playthrough for it. Right, before we go any further, let's just have a quick look at the inventory situation. So we've got nothing in the way of potions, which means that cure spells are all we've got for healing. We do need to go ahead and throw this new steel materia onto one of our characters. Teeth will do nicely. And let's just see. Is it just one cure spell we have? I believe it is, isn't it? Yep. So I need to decide whether I want barrier or restore with the all materia. Uh, I think if I don't have barrier on all, I'm probably not going to be casting it because it's going to be a little bit inefficient to cast barrier multiple times in one battle. So for now, I am actually going to... Oh, but the thing is, we've got no potions. Okay, well, we'll see how we get on, shall we? Let's head up and out of the server first and foremost. Uh, yes, I do play Planet Coaster. I've uh, been working on some... Roller coaster recreations in that game as of late. There's some up on the YouTube channel if you want to check them out. And uh, no doubt there'll be more to come in the future as well. Uh, 
So just to clarify for those that are going to be watching on YouTube later on, this is uh, a live stream version of uh, a live stream video rather than the standard uh, uploads that I do. I just thought I'd try something a little bit different. And we can possibly go ahead and save our tents for now. We'll try and get through the area. So we'll grab that high potion. And I'm going to have to check if there's an item through here. I've got the enemy away materia equipped. I can't remember then because I was chatting if I saved my game or not. I'll uh, make sure to do so again after this battle. You do want to save regularly. Steal and morph. You are going to want to uh, be making good use of. One thing that's a little bit frustrating is that for some reason the controller is really sensitive. Which is why the uh, cursor just jumps all over the place. Let's try and steal something. Phoenix down, okay. I really need some potions, but a phoenix down is uh, better than nothing, I suggest. See how much health this guy's got. Uh, the way that morph works is basically it generally gets you better items than steel. So one more morph should do the trick here. So we collected a gravity ball. Grabby Ball through Morph and Phoenix down through Steel. So let's just double check our inventory again. No doubt Grabby Ball is going to be somewhat useful. It casts Demi. We'll go ahead and heal up. I do want to get rid of these sadness uh, status effects which reduce the rate at which our limit break builds up but I don't think we can at the moment it looks like we're stuck with it okay don't forget potions and high potions have been buffed uh, which is quite useful in the mod Now we'll start making our way through the dreaded graveyard, uh, train yard even. And I can't always tell you what the items are going to be because they have been changed about for the mod. Including materials by the way as well, so just bear that in mind. what we need potions let's just defend with air ease for the time being I was going to try and do some morphine, but before we do anything, we need to heal up a bit, I think. Oh, got 
up an item, another potion. So if you've played the game before, you'll no doubt be aware that we do have another boss battle coming up. And it's a boss battle that, at least for the first couple of times I played through the game, I did find quite challenging against the Turks. So it'd be interesting to see how much difficult it is now that the game has been buffed. Or retuned, as the author of the mod prefers to call it. So another item to grab before we move on out of the area. And we get some lovely ghosts to fight. Draining Ares life, that's not very nice is it? So every time you hit with a spell or attack on these guys, I think they disappear for a little bit, just to make things more challenging. So we can't really do much at the minute, apart from perhaps heal up with Ares here, but is there much point? She hasn't exact they haven't exactly taken a lot of damage yet at the party. We'll carry on stealing. So one thing you will notice in this mod as well is you get a lot more status ailments at this point uh, in the early game. I want to try and maximise the effect we get out of Ares' healing limit break, which is why I'm not casting it just yet. Okay, I think now's the time, isn't it? Right, so that first one, we should be able to morph now. So we'll just defend for a little bit. Seeing as how Tifa and Ares aren't doing a whole lot at the moment. Hmm, still not quite enough. Wow, these ghosts are really quite irritating, aren't they? Thirty hit points left. Hope that you give us something useful for morphing as well. Uh, right, do we have something to fix? Silence. Yes, we do. and cure Ares there. 19 health. You only need to cast Sense once on each enemy by the way because then their health will be revealed to you throughout the rest of the fight. So as long as this guy doesn't drain again, we should be good at morphing him on the next turn. Oh, 
Oh, these guys are really irritating. I hope we don't encounter any more in all honesty. Eight health, this should be one out of three sorted. We'll get a fire fang. Something damaging, no doubt. Seventeen health. Right, let's morph this guy now. Right, in a second. Ah, what are you doing? Oh, yes, because she's got healing staff. I forgot about that. That's uh, something to bear in mind, isn't it? Uh, I don't think we're going to want to morph this one because it's just going to take too long to deplete the health down on. Oh, well, maybe not. Yeah, let's just kill it when we can. Ridiculous. Let's just use Tifa's limit break. The first one should be enough to kill it. We did get a couple of fire fangs and a couple of items that we stole from battle, which I guess is a bit of a bonus. And cloud levels up, which is always nice. So do those fire fangs are they just on a single target, I assume? Casts fire too. That's not too bad though. Not too bad. No, nope, wrong way. Another high potion. Let's just make sure that we are healed up. Really could do with getting rid of this uh, sadness ability or status effect. No, no, no. The sensitivity of the joypad is so annoying. <laughs> Hello and welcome to those that are just tuning into the live stream. <coughs> So we're just playing Final Fantasy VII with the new threat mod enabled. We did one more damage than we needed to on that one. So we'll go ahead and attack Tifa with Ares, since that will heal Tifa up without using any MP. So a couple of more, so we should get another item to add to the collection. Grabby Ball, which will cast Demi. So this game is a lot more about stealing and morphing than the previous 
or the original iteration of Final Fantasy VII is. But it looks like we've just about made it to the train yard. I guess if you're playing this and you're not live streaming, so you don't want to annoy people, you might want to spend a little bit of time uh, just doing a bit of grinding, especially when this save point becomes accessible. Biggs, Wedge and Jesse all uh, doing the usual thing, balance up there as well. Poor Wedge doesn't avoid his fate. Reminder, there's a secret place down here which for some reason I don't think there's any access to at all. So there is an exit there, but it's not an exit that's available at any point in the game. Usually there's some guards uh, stopping you from progressing further down. But uh, I wonder why it's there. A little bit of a tidbit of information for you. Well, it looks like we're all fully healed up, which is nice. Although we don't have Ares in the party at the moment, so. Not much in the way of healing, unfortunately. Did we get her materia back, or should I have unequipped that? Ah, oh, we did fortunately get it back. So, let's just spend a moment. Uh, do we want to go for barrier all still, rather than... I think so. And we'll go for restore. Revive. Mm. Do we need revive? Yeah, we do want to start levelling it up, don't we, to get life too. We should go ahead and give an ice materia to Tifa so she's got some damaging magic as well. And we'll start heading our way up the pillar here. See what's going on up at the top. Oh, I think we forgot to equip the sense materia, didn't we? Or well, I did, I should say. Let's go for cross slash and get one of these guys all frozen up. Or just killed, which is even better. And we do need to start stealing more stuff. Potions. I never get. I've never been as excited about stealing potions as I am playing this uh, modded version of Final Fantasy VII. Everybody's health nicely topped up, I think. The other thing we need to keep an eye on actually then is uh, MP because we've got a very limited supply of ethers at the moment.
Ah, an X potion. That's interesting. I think enemies basically have like uh, common drops, rare drops, uh, and so on and so forth. Watch out on the uh, house situation here, I think. Whoa. Oh, hyper, that should cure the status that we're suffering with at the moment. Sadness. At least on one character. Probably going to be on Cloud due to his powerful limit break. Quickly go ahead and cast that on cloud. Let's sort out our items. What potions up the top? There we go, it's better. We got spider webs, fire fangs. Lots of useful stuff, I think, to help us out in the upcoming boss battle. I'm not quite sure if we're ready to throw an ether onto Tifa just yet. Oh, one thing I do want to do is equip her with the scent materia. Uh, I'm going to take ice off. I don't think we're going to be using magic on Tifa anytime soon. Sounds like uh, Barrett's having some fun. Need to go ahead and uh, equip Barrier, I think. These guys have 320 health, so now that we know that, we can try doing a little bit of morphing. health there, it's getting a, getting a little bit low. I don't want to use my supply of potions just yet. Morph should get us a nice item. Did we steal off this guy? I can't remember. Nope. Tifa has been stopped. can morph this guy then, or somebody if he gets killed then. At least we're uh, done with the battle. Okay. I 
At least Cloud goes into the boss battle with a little bit of extra stats. How many potions do we have? Eight. Let's go and see Babbitt. Right, so we can have Barrett in our party now, which means we should throw some stuff on him in the way of material and what have you. Uh, what do we have? Let's put sense on Barrett. Maybe cover as well. Okay, I was thinking, does Tifa need cover because I'm sure she has some pretty good stuff when you do defend but for now we'll uh, just keep it on yeah we're gonna put it on Tifa I'm pretty sure she should use cover uh, anything else we need to do I don't think so we'll make use of the items we've been collecting as well uh, not an exciting story behind that I'm afraid, uh, Blaine. It's basically uh, back in the days of World of Warcraft, a long, long time ago, uh, there was a, a name generator when you created a character, and I used it. That's what came up. I used the character for a long time, and the name stuck. Nowadays, in fact, for the longest time, uh, the name generator hasn't been in WoW, but uh, it was a while ago. Right, so here we have our boss battle against Reno. And he's a little bit challenging even in the standard version of the game with his pyramid spell. And it looks like he's done something of the sort here. So we can't actually do anything about it, sadly. Uh, we can't target it in order to remove it, but can we get rid of it by some other means? I honestly don't know. In fact, it looks like we can't, so we need to be careful that the other characters don't get inflicted by it. Hmm, all these cages. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any... Oh, no, we can actually break that one. Maybe we can break clouds. I'll have a look. Uh, first things first, let's get some uh, protection going. Ah! And some uh, potions as well. That is potion. Right, Cloud's back in action now. So let's see if we can freeze Reno. That would be somewhat useful. Two thousand six hundred health left. Good news is Cross Slash has actually worked, as I hoped that it would. Ah, oh, why does it keep doing that? I forgot all about the barrier. It looks like Cloud's still got something around him, but I cannot for the life of me uh, do anything about that. And let's throw a potion on... Whoa! Oh, I see. We've got the uh, barrier to break. It's like a death barrier. Let's try and get some damage going. Uh, we don't want to be doing magic at the moment because it will be reflected back to us. Hang on, I thought we just broke that uh, cage. Did we not? Oh, apparently not. Seems to have a little bit more health than uh, normal. 
it's in a bit of bother there, so we need to quickly sort that out. Oh, come on! So, no uh, cure spells at the moment. So, we'll go for the standard potion. Hopefully, that will keep Barrett alive a little bit longer. Low health Barrett again. Right, let's see what some other items we have to cast. I wonder if this guy will be susceptible to slow. Let's try, shall we? Only one way to find out. Final Fantasy XIII. Uh, yeah, I did actually enjoy it and I completed it. I think it just got criticised heavily for its linearity, if I remember. I don't know why Cloud's still got this uh, pyramid thing around him, but he doesn't seem to be doing anything, so maybe it's bugged. I'm going to still assume that enemies in this game can only have one item. Yeah. Right then, let's try... Gravity Ball. A bit of demi action. Yeah, 510 damage, that's not too bad. This is why you need to be stealing items from uh, other enemies. Let's throw another one of those grabby balls on Reno here. Do we need some potion action? We'll be okay for the moment. Oh, have we run out of potions? No, no, we've got four left. So in that case, then, let's save that for the time being. And instead, should we try Dirty Bomb? Oh, good, we can actually poison Reno with that. And now we can perhaps throw some grenades on him. He's down to 582 health. I think we'll uh, be going for a heal on Cloud there. Ah, there we go, we're done. So yeah, that was actually more challenging than the original game. But we got it first time, which is pretty awesome. I didn't fancy running up that tower again from the save point, in all honesty, so I'm glad that we did. Reno's going to make quick his escape. We're going to see what Seaver's up to. Just going for the good old let's push buttons uh, response and hope that something works. I'm pretty sure that Barrett's model is changed. I don't remember he, remember him having a spiky back in the original game. I only mention that because I mentioned it in a previous episode and somebody commented that uh, he's always been like that, but I don't think he has been. Down comes the pillar. Or 
we can do is run around. Until Barrett decides to rescue us all. And down comes the plate. Oh, did I say that? Did I play? I don't remember, actually. It's been so many years now since I've done that playthrough. That that's why I was quite excited when I found this mod give me an excuse to come back to the game once more. Oh, materia. We'll want to be picking that up. Sadly, Big Wedge and Jesse have uh, faced an untimely end. Be interesting how all this uh, plays out in the remake of Final Fantasy VII that Square are making at the moment. Because I really hope they don't lose the emotion that you get in the original game. Very angry man, Barrett, isn't he? Very angry. Probably not somebody you'd want to cross in any way. Right, so Midgar once again has turned to Schmuck. And our destination now is... What the? Where's uh, Barrett and Cloud? I mean Barrett and Tifa. Oh, here they come. Our destination now is to head back to Ares' house.
So another brief mention of the game's antagonist. I like the way that Sephiroth is really introduced in Final Fantasy VII as like a mythical figure that from Cloud's past. He's not exactly thrust into the player's sights right from the get-go. There's a lot of build-up to him, and I like the way that works. some limit breaks to build up here so we can finish this guy off relatively quickly. I think they have 400 health in the original game and here they have 1250. Oh, that's good Blaine, I'm glad it uh, was a help to you. Again, if we get the opportunity to try and morph, I'll do so. Oh, we won't. Thanks to Tifa and her timely critical. I'm not sure yet, Mary. It's a good question. I won't be for Final Fantasy IX because I've got into a real routine with that one uh, in terms of the walkthrough that I'm doing for it but maybe for some of the other Final Fantasies I might do <laughs> right so here we are back at Ares is house and to be honest guys, I think I'm going to uh, take a break for a bit now. I need to go and stop me drink up and whatnot. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this little live stream. It was more of a test than anything else because uh, I haven't done a live stream on YouTube for the longest time. And uh, let me know what you thought in the in the comments. I'm going to make this video live uh, or, or stored or whatever the word is so that you can uh, watch it at any time uh, as any other normal video. And let me know if you want me to carry on doing live streams for this game or... If, uh, you know, we should just do normal videos again. Uh, but cheers for joining me, guys. And I'll see you all soon as we crack on with more Final Fantasy VII. This, once again, is the new Threat mod. So you can download it for free. The link's in the video description. Along with the credits to the author. Uh, as long as you actually own the base PC version of the game. Then you can uh, install the mod over the top of it. And uh, it's certainly adding some freshness in, I'll tell you that. But we are having to really plan some more tactics and do a little bit of thinking around some of the battles so that we're not getting obliterated. But see you soon guys and uh, I'm ending the stream now so take care. <laughs>